and welcome to this iMindMap 11 tutorial all about Fast Capture's Bubble Web. So we're here in the iMindMap home screen ready to begin where I'm going to select Fast Capture to get started. Now here I have another menu which is asking me if I want to use Bubble Groups or Bubble Web. Bubble Groups is an iMindMap ultimate feature and we have another tutorial on that one but for this tutorial I'm going to show you Bubble Web. So to begin, I'm going to double click to rename my central idea. Using the text box, I update the text and hit enter to insert. Hit and enter again will give me another text box, which I'm free to add more ideas to. So as I'm hitting enter, they are forming as new bubbles. So from here, I might want to develop one further. So I'll click to select it. And once again, I just continue to type and hit enter. Again, click and hit enter. If I want to go back to fitness to carry on adding there, again, just selecting that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added more ideas to my web of thought in uh, bubble webs. Now at the moment, it is quite compact. You can see by the indicator the number of ideas that fall under each bubble. If I want to reveal all the child bubbles as well, I simply click on show and hide ancestors to toggle those into view and back out again. Let's do that one more time give you a complete view of it. And close them off again. Next I'm going to show you how to add images to your bubble web. Start by selecting the bubble you'd like to add images to. Then head over to our side panel and click on the images and icon icon. In this library you can search for a relevant image. By clicking it, it will add to your canvas. So if we have another go at that, but this time with an emoji. Again, you can search and select the one you want to add. Heading back. and you can see the images are there. Now just like we can toggle on and off ancestors, we can also toggle on and off images. So up here again in the toolbar, if we click toggle images, you'll see that the text has been revealed again, hit it again, and your visuals are added back in. You can add extra detail to your bubble web by inserting notes. Click on the bubble you'd like to start with and select notes from our side panel. Once you're in here, this text box allows you to add more information associated with that bubble. Once my information's in, if I click to exit, by zooming in, you can see there is an indicator here that lets me know that there's more to this bubble. And by clicking on that icon, it will reveal the extra notes that I've added. If you're an iMindMap 11 Ultimate user, you can use the Bubble Groups icon here to transfer your thinking over into Bubble Groups. As you can see, notes have been carried over, images have been carried over, and everything's keeping its structure just like it was in Bubble Web. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Head over to iMindMap's YouTube channel now for more.